They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. <laughs> Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur! No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the, in the north now. Bruce Bolton is the warden of the north. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? What is a kolesh? Nie spada. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Tak, bez wodoru. Zamordowaliście jemu rodzinę. You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Not so. Lady. Tomisha. Mister. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this, this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. 
Then we'll see whose word is law. We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. No, i jak spada. <laughs> Nie boimy się. O, walcie się. <laughs> Tak, musimy być silni. Nie, a nie. Your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here held his ground. You were brave, my son, but you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. <laughs> Tak, 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 zapis znowu. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Dobra, teraz jesteśmy Miro, super, co to jest? Spójrz na... <laughs> na palanisko? Dobra, nie chcesz patrzeć na palanisko, co to jeszcze jest? Yy, skrzynia... Z drzewa żelaznego, tak, czyli z rodu. Ojej, kurde, co to się odpierdziła, ale dobra, trzeba groć. Trzeba groć w tą grę. Moneta z Junka i... Czegoś tam, nie wiem. Asha sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Wykryte drzewo żelazne. Wyryte, wyryte. O. Brosza wysoko grodu. Mhm. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Aha. Niedokończony list, co to jest? Czytaj. Spójrz, nie wiem, czytaj. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Mhm. Mm Co poczytałaś? Do... Droga Miro. Mhm. Mm Stara zakurzona książka. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. No, wiesz, że nie zobaczysz ich, bo Rodryk nie żyje. Lot, czyli Forrester też nie żyje. No, to jest dopiero. Dobra, to jest tylko... Dobra, gra na wyborach, wiadomo, że gra na wyborach. Trudno. Takie życie. Co? Czy o czym gadać jeszcze? Czy masz coś do powiedzenia coś tu? Lis od matki. O, lis od matki, czytaj. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Aj, weź puka. Do nas? Tak, do nas? Lady jakaś tam. A, to ta, co z tam? Co mamy ją urobić, tak? Idę, idę, już, otwórz. Drzwi. One moment. Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Dobra, wejdź. No, it's fine. Come in. Co się stało? Be 
begging your pardon, lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what mm -hmm. I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Seps, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by, and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? No, to jest właśnie twój rod Miro, właśnie Foresterów. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cowboy, not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Dobranoc. Tu jeszcze jasno. A dobra. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining, and your poor family as well. I need your help, my lady. Of course, and I will help you in any way I can. But there's another matter we must attend to first. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark, it raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Aha, czy ją mi schlebiać? Aha, dobra, czy co to znaczy schlebiać? Być miła inaczej, dobra. Mhm, schlebiać. No to żołnierzu, się patrzysz na mnie. You'll be fine, I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Mhm. Mhm. Czyli musza być miła. Sklebiać jej. Czyli inaczej być miła. Tak. No, ale będzie mnie wkurzać ta pani. Coś. Będę się czepiać mojej rodziny. Tak. Rodu Foresterów. Za spróbuj pani się czepiać. You can do this. Tak. Dam sobie radę. Hm. Ja muszę iść jeszcze. Aha, dobra. 
to idę, czy co? Co mam iść? Dobra. Mogę sobie podziwiać jeszcze widoczki? Tu żołnierze. Elo żołnierze. Elo bandyty jakieś. A, to ta jest. A, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? A co to jest? Lord Tyrion. Lordzie Tyronie, a no ta właśnie, Tyron. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Aha. Kraknij przed nią? Nie wiem. Tak? Mam być miła, tak? Przechowaj za dowolną. Impresyw. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Oh wow! Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yes, she didn't say which. The girl is clever. That monster. I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. What? What's wrong with her? I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the north. If you would give her the chance to explain, perhaps she can explain why the foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries, a house of traitors. So. Uh, they know them, not traitors. Your Grace. Noble, perhaps once for a northern house, but now, now they're merely dead. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Roose Bolton also served the Starks, Your Grace, and proved his loyalty to the Crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Co takiego? Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. Tak, zniszczony, chyba... What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves, pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. 
She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. Satan, all was she dobra, yes. I'd like a word with you if I may. Tak, jasne, z tobą mówić co. Of course, your grace. Już się obraziła na nas, ojej, o straszna. Mhm. Nie jestem głupia, jestem Mira Forester. Jestem mądrą. I'll walk you out. Dlaczego sprowadzisz mnie? Po co ci? This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Just be careful. This is not the north. Za długo, dobra. La 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 la. Miałam powiedzieć dobranoc, okej, dobra już. A boż by żebyśmy się jeszcze obydwoje spotkali, dobra. Trzeba szybko wybierać, szybko te te te, dobra już tak. Aha, tak, owszem, albo coś tam. Dobra, zgodziłam się, że pomógł nam. Zobaczymy, czy nam pomożesz, panie Lordzie Tyronie. Tak, Tyronie. Mira, I was worried. No to się martwiłaś, bo co? How was it? Hmm, jak było? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. Nie wiem, dobrze chyba. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And over in Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish. He is quite handsome and quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd marry anyone if it helped my family. Right, of course. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. 
Na co? Na służbę? No, a następna. What a perfect match. Sir Bron and what are you doing? Oh wow, w kurzyła się? Co? Strasznie. Well. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was pleased by your display mirror. Mhm. Mm I'm just glad it's over. Kings landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Uh, I think you got us. Mm. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. <laughs> the words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Dobra, niech zostanie. Go on. Eee. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. Mm. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. No, famous funny, lady. <laughs> Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Mhm. Mm Dasz kiedyś nie pomożesz ty, my lady. Aha. Dobra. Ja ci pomogłam, pamiętasz? <laughs> o ja, co to się? O dobra, kolec gitar, tak. O, widzisz las. O, to ty będziemy sztorować. Dobra, okej. Okay. Co to jest? Nie, koniu! E! Koniu! I uciekł mi koń, nie mam czym się bro... Na siedem co?
Nie mam mnie czas, czy mam czas? Bronić. Let's play a little game, shall we? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Daj, słyszałeś? I know I heard something. Eee, nie wiem. Nie ruszaj się? <laughs> Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Co za porąbany jakiś frajer, nie wiem jak się nazywasz, ale cię załatwię, Mendo. <laughs> o Jezus. Co za gra, dobra. Dzień albo dwie, kurde, drogi. Ja, ja nie mogę tych foresterów. Ta, aha. No idziemy. Uratować. Żyjesz? Halo? Panie? Halo? Jesus, sir. Oh, yes. Bloody hell. No, piękny widok. Ta, super. Nie wiesz co. Wow. Dobra, jak się podobał odcinek, to subskrybuj, napisz komentarz, łapkę w górę, ciuka w górę, dobra, następnego. Z, z, zagrajmy w Game of Thrones y, po polsku, czyli y, gra o tron, dobra.